Hello class, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. So for today's discussion class, we will discuss about credit memorandum and debit memorandum. When we say credit memorandum, it is taken from the viewpoint of the seller or supplier who is the creditor. So it is Always remember that when we say credit memorandum, it is in the viewpoint of the seller or the supplier. And this seller or supplier is the creditor. Next is merchandise sold on account recorded by the seller or supplier as a debit to accounts receivable in its book. So, diba, if the seller or supplier sold merchandise on account, ibig sabihin, nakabenta siya ng merchandise, pero hindi binayaran ng cash, therefore, the seller or the supplier will record account title of accounts receivable in its book. So, the merchandise returned by the buyer will be recorded as credit. Diba? Tingnan natin. Kasi, merong accounts receivable ang book ni supplier or ni seller. So, if the merchandise is sold on accounts, on account, so meron siyang debit accounts rece receivable, for example, 10,000. Then, the merchandise returned by the buyer, merong binalik si buyer sa seller, then, the same account will be credited. So, for example, ang worth ng binalik is 2,000, so, i-credit siya in order to effect the reduction of receivable. So, 8,000 na lang ang receivable. So, the document na i-issue is called the credit memorandum so the document that will be issued is called credit memorandum next we have debit memorandum debit memorandum is taken from the viewpoint of the buyer or the customer kanina yung credit memorandum is taken from the viewpoint of the supplier or the creditor here, the debit memorandum is in the viewpoint of the buyer or customer. And the buyer or the customer is the debtor. So, merchandise bought on account was recorded by the buyer or customer as a credit to accounts payable on its book. So, kanina sa seller na side. Ngayon is sa buyer na side. So, si buyer ngayon ang may utang kay seller, so kaya accounts payable ang ating account title. So, 10,000 worth of merchandise purchase on account. Then, the merchandise return. So, merong binalik si buyer customer. So, it will be debited to the same account to affect reduction of accounts payable. So, 2,000 dito. So, 8,000. So, tingnan natin ha. Kanina, it is on the seller's book. So, ito, accounts receivable. Then, ito sa debit memorandum, it is on the buyer's book. So, accounts payable lang ating account title. So, now, let's have a Comparative recording of transactions of the debit of the credit memorandum and the uh, debit memorandum under the seller or supplier's book or the buyer or customer's book. On the left side, we can see the seller or supplier's book or the credit memo. So, if there is a sale of merchandise, what is the account title? This sale is on account ha, upon sales of merchandise on account, hindi siya cash. 
Kaya, we have to debit accounts receivable and credit sales. Okay? So, di ba, if merong sale, si seller, ibig sabihin, may customer na bumili. So, in the books of the buyer or the customer, upon purchase of merchandise on account, so, the customer will debit purchases and credit accounts payable. So, that is the difference between the two books. Then, after that, there is a return of merchandise sold. So, if there is a return of merchandise sold, so, we have to debit sales returns and allowances and credit accounts receivable. And upon return of the merchandise purchased, we have to debit accounts payable and credit purchase returns and allowances. So, tingnan nyo ng maigi the difference in the recording of transactions between the seller or supplier's book or the credit memo and the buyer or customer's books or the debit memo. So, here. Credit memorandum. So, here is a cre the, an example of credit memorandum. So, we credit your account for the return of merchandise sold on account. This is from supplier or the creditor. And this is called the credit memo. Here, on the right side, this is the debit memorandum. So, we debit your account for the return of merchandise purchased on account from customer or the debtor. So, most often, because of the keen competition in business, suppliers are extra careful in handling their customers, especially on invoicing errors. So, like for example, Shortage in delivery of items discovered upon shipment and errors in pricing. So, this, the suppliers was no time notifying the buyer or customer that his account is being decreased by way. The, the suppliers waste no time. I mean, sorry ha, litin natin. So, the suppliers... Waste no time notifying the buyer or customers that his account is being decreased by way of credit memorandum. So, itong binibigay nila in order to inform the buyer of the decrease of the account sold and rather than waiting for the buyer to discover the error and will be the one to issue the debit memorandum. So, that's it for our discussion for credit memorandum and debit memorandum. So, thank you so much class for listening. Hope you learned something and please share our videos to your classmates and friends. God bless class.